Generators Series 10 HHO Generator. And what you're looking at now is the outbound line, which has been dyed green on the fully water-cooled jacket system that's been built for the MagDrive hydrogen systems. This is the Series 10, and this is the outbound, and we'll back up a little bit so you can see it. And as you can see here, it's a little bit different than the Series 9. It's the fatter or thicker model like a Series 8, but there's a Series 9 located inside of it that is totally enclosed and water jacketed. If you look down below right here, this is the inbound line right here, and here's the water jacket on the outside. There's your anode. It goes all the way through. It's insulated. And then out here is your exit right here. And as you can see, it's circulating water because we can go over here and pull this out. And you can see there's actual green dyed colored water coming out of it right now. That's the flow rate. Now this unit's been running for 13 hours, continuous. And if you look up above, right there, you can see that it's running just about 3 liters a minute static. And it's been running for 13 hours consistently and there's the amperage right there see if we can get that in there for you so you can see it it's about 14 amps and we're running at 12 volts off of that power supply right there and we're supplying the pump and the cooling unit from the old power supply over here which is running at you can see it, it's running at about 13 and a half volts and that's what the unit looks like right there same controls only it's jacketed alright and if you look closely and we'll follow the lines around we'll go back to the ammeter and then we'll go over to the cooling unit we have an actual cooling unit right here which you'll be able to see is like so that's the front side of it and if we go around to the back side of it you can see we have a fan a water pump, an accumulator, a purge valve, and everything else which is located there. And then the whole system is all connected together with these two lines, one water coming in, one going out after it's cooled, goes back over here into the bottom of the generator, goes into the water jacket, absorbs the heat, comes through the water jacket, exits out the top, as you can see it right there, and then follows back over and goes back into this tank that I've got just for a holding tank. And if you look down below, you'll be able to see there's the gas coming out of it right there. And if you look closely at the hose, which we're right up on top of it, not a bit of condensate in the hose going up to the flow meter anywhere. No condensate at all, no moisture, no nothing. It's been running 13 hours at 15 amps. It's producing 3 liters a minute static, not under vacuum. And right now it's pushing over 2 PSI until you put it into a vacuum from an engine. Then the needle will, the ball, the ball will actually go up because you're under a vacuum then. But right now it's static into a column of water. I've got a temperature gauge. And you can see right here, see we can get some light on it. There's some light on it. Let's see if we can get it to work. And it's very hard to see. But as you can see, it's saying 80 degrees at the bottom. And if we go to the top, and we'll shoot it. We're running at 82, 83 degrees at the top. The outbound water... We're at 86 degrees. The outbound gas, 85 degrees. All right, if we go over here and we look at our pump, we'll look at the water in right here, and we'll see if we can focus a dot on it. It's kind of hard. There we go. The water in is 80 degrees. Alright, that's the water out. There we go. And the water out is at 77 degrees, 76 degrees on the water going out. 
and that will give you a general idea. There's the cooling side. There's your two coolant lines, one going in, one going out, one going to the gen, one coming out of the gen over here, right there, as you can see it. And, of course, there's your actual gas HHO out. There's your water in for your water reserve tank. There's your water solenoid, your water solenoid level control relay, your power relay, which turns everything on, and down below there is your anode. All right, and that'll give you an idea of what the Series 10 looks like. Running now for 13 hours, and we're sitting here just a needle's width, just below 15 amps. So we're running about 13, 14 amps, and we've been running 12, 13 hours right now. Now we have run this all the way up to 40 amps and produced over 6 liters per minute with it static at 40 amps and ran it all day long and kept the unit where the outbound gas never topped 120 degrees Fahrenheit. No condensate, no boiling, no nothing. We found a way to pull the heat off from the HHO operation and bring the temperatures down to where they need to be. And right now, we'll just shoot this thing, and you can see when I shoot it, it's only 77 degrees at the bottom, and we'll shoot it at the top, and we're at 82 degrees at the top, because heat rises. So there's roughly a 5 degree difference right there, and then it goes out, and it cools it, and brings it back in at the bottom side. So that's a Series 10 mag drive. HHO generator. That's the new one that's coming out that will be available on June the 1st, 2007. And that's about it. So thank you much. We appreciate everything. Have a good night, a good day, and bye-bye.